In this episode of Winning with SketchUp, we're going to learn how to create a boxwood shrub and a boxwood hedge very quickly using the Scatter plugin. The first thing that I did was to grab an image from the internet and I used Google Images and did a search for boxwood leaf and found this image here. I liked it because of the color variation and the fact that we have a small grouping of leaves at a reasonable resolution. I then took that into Photoshop and I cut out the black background and was just left with this transparent image here that I then converted or saved as a PNG file. And I opened that up in my material library in SketchUp and I have that here. This is the boxwood PNG that I created and you can see that there. And the first step that I want to do is I want to create a small, find our center here, and I want to create a small rectangle. So I'm going to grab, and I'm going to use the rotated rectangle tool. And I have this little billboard sitting here. I want to take our material and I'm going to apply that to the billboard. I'm going to use through paint to do this. I'm going to rotate this and I want to tile this one by one. So I'm going to turn that 180 degrees and then do tiling one by one again. So our entire texture is filling this image here, this um, billboard that we've created. The image is fitting entirely inside of it. Next thing I want to do is turn this into a component. So I'm going to hit G on my keyboard and I'm going to go and set the axis so that it's somewhat in the center of the branching here itself. So I'm going to place that right about there, triple click and set our axis and we can call this boxwood leaves. And there we have our component called boxwood leaves. We can see the axis is sitting where we set it up. We can get into this now and double click and deselect the face there and just have the outer edges selected and we're going to go ahead and hide those. So I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut and hide those. Now we just have this transparent placeholder here, this billboard um, that's holding this texture image but we don't have any any of the edges around it. So what we want to do is scatter this now across the shape that will give us something that resembles a shrub. And I'm going to do this with a circle, with a series of circles. So I'm going to bring out a circle here and pull this up into a cylinder. I'm going to double click on the top and I want to scale that out. Something like that. I'm going to grab the top here, bring this up to about there, and it doesn't have to be an exact measurement. We're just doing this arbitrarily, and then we can scale things as we need them. So I'm going to push-pull this again and tap Control to bring up a copy. And now I'm going to double-click on the top there, and I'm going to scale that in. I'm going to scale the top in pretty far. And I'm going to go and delete that face, and I'm going to delete the top face. And turn on our hidden geometry and see what we're left with. And I'm going to grab these edges here. And I'm going to do a ring selection with our quad face tools plugin. What that'll do is go around and select all of those vertical edges. And from here, we're going to use the quad face tools. And we're going to do a loop, edge loop. We're going to insert six edge loops per section. So I'm going to increase that maybe up actually higher. I'm going to go maybe to 10 and say OK. And now we've subdivided that by adding those edge loops in and we've gotten to the point where these individual faces here are relatively square. Not perfectly square but they're a lot closer to the same height and width than they were. So from here we're going to group this shape. So now we have our component and we have this 
object that we're going to scatter on top of in a group. Our leaves are a component, our scattering object surface here is a group. So now let's launch scatter and this would be considered the host object here. So we're going to add that by picking a grouped surface and we'll do that there. And before we pick our scattering object, we get this preview and that red line is kind of the preview of what's going on. And we can switch this now to face centers and if we adjust this direction here, you can see that that's kind of giving us something that looks a little bit like a shrub there. So now let's go back and Let's add our component that we created here. And now we can adjust this even a little bit more. And we might want to go to face centers. That might be a little bit better. There we go. Now to make this realistic, let's go down and we want to do random rotation and random scale. And we can also go into our slope range and we're going to increase the max number here to about 200 uh, maybe a little less let's try 160 let's try 140 and I'm just trying to thin it out there on the bottom so I'm just going to keep playing with this and maybe 135 So it's picking up the angle there. And it looks like 138, 137. Let's just call that good. And right now we're set to render only. We can turn that off and we can hit generate. And that'll go through. Let's turn off our hidden geometry. And we can actually grab this and move it over just to look at it. And we see that we've created. pretty decent shrub there, at least the good shape of a shrub. And we could go in and also texture this and leave that inside just as some filler. If we wanted to grab that and we can either use maybe a boxwood type material, something like this, and get inside and we can texture this. inner shape here, if I can grab that, there we go, grab that, select all of that, and let's texture that, and there we have a pretty nice looking boxwood there, and if we wanted to take this a step further, we could also grab this and let's group that or make that into a component and let's actually make it into a component and I want to set the axis so I'm going to go to the top view and I want our axis to be kind of dead center here so I'm going to eye this up and get as close to dead center as we can and now we have this component here now using scatter if I have, let's say, some curves here that represent where a hedge might go, I can use this and I'm going to go and make another, I'm going to add another scatter object and we're going to make sure we group the sets of edges here. Now we want to select them, pick a grouped curve. And for scatter objects, we want to pick that there. And let's change, lower the number on our X spacing down to maybe five. And let's go and turn on random rotation and maybe random scale. 
see how it looks without random scale for now. And let's keep it at render only, hit generate. And now let's use via render and let's do a SketchUp viewport render so we can take a look at what our hedge looks like. And it's going to go through, might take a second. There we go. go so density might be a little high um, we could turn that down a little bit if we wanted um, let's just go back up to our spacing here and increase that we can go up to eight see what that looks like And there we go, it doesn't look too bad. This is all, remember, created from just one texture image. So it's a very low poly, very quick way to go about doing this. Um, there's definitely ways to create the shrub and the hedge so they look a lot more realistic overall. Um, we can get in and build the individual branching and things like that, but for a quick and dirty way to accomplish this, and let's go and turn on our sky here. Lower the density a little bit more. Try and get our preview here. And it's a little bit too low. Maybe a good happy medium here would be I'll use nine on the X spacing and that looks pretty good and what you want to do is go through and really get this where you are happy with it um, it still might be a little bit low I see in some places there um, just find that that place that you're happy with and uh, maybe I forgot to hit regenerate, but from there you can go and if you have any other areas that you want to have your hedges, you just need to group those edges and you can add them here to your hosts. And they will go ahead and populate based on the same settings so you can name this your hedge setup if you will and you go through and again we did all of this with that single image here and just scattered that in a way that allowed us to um, populate all these shapes I forgot to hit regenerate again uh, let me see generate that because I'm in render only we have to recommit this here um, every time we render that you have to hit regenerate and let that run through and there we go you can see that it populated all of those lines and now we have our hedge component scattered here where we want it. And apparently that
that one is even up in the air. There, so if you wanted to build a boxwood animal or something, I suppose you could. You see that our set of edges there is sitting up in the air as well. So Grab this one here and rotate it. And there we go. So that looks good. Um, I hope that was helpful. And that's just having a quick play with scatter and looking at different ways to make boxwood shrubs and boxwood hedges. So we'll see you in the next video.